Very simply, very very simply put, object theater is theater done with objects. Okay, the name was given in 1980 uh, in France with Théâtre des Objets, theater of objects. Uh, but it it branched out of puppetry, it branched out of puppet theater. But many years before that, uh, puppeteers had already started using ordinary objects in the theater, in their puppet theater where. Puppeteers started to push it one step further to see if a dead material that is not made to look like human being, do audiences still believe that they, that they are alive? So if you make a shoe or a notebook or the watch or a pen that we have around us, if we make it walk, breathe, uh, speak, does the audience believe it's alive? And it was found that yes, they do. If it is used the way we normally use it in our everyday lives, if a shoe is, we walk in the shoes, we polish shoes, shoes get torn, we mend shoes. Okay, These very ordinary objects with their very ordinary functions, can they communicate lighter, larger ideas? How can they do that? Through the idea of symbolism, metaphors, suggestions. If a shoe is walking, shoe is walking, one shoe gets lost. The other shoe is walking alone. Then the other shoe, it tears. We mend the shoe and the shoe walks alone. Then this tears even further. Slowly by slowly, the shoe keeps falling apart till there is nothing left but a sole, the sole of the shoes. And the soul knows so many things.
I have to describe what puppet theatre is because object theatre is really the first cousin of puppet theatre. And puppet theatre is the more well-known cousin, it's the famous cousin. And object theatre is the baby cousin, it was just born. It raises ordinary objects, it raises ordinariness into poetic ideas. That's what it is. Simon says, Simon says, When I'm working with children, uh, the idea is never to the idea is never to train them to be object theatre artists. That is not my aim. show is with toffees, one Eno tablet and a glass of water. Okay, So the, the toffees are made to walk around, move to and have voices like, like human beings. So you believe that those toffees are alive and the voices make it seem like they're children. Okay, so they're walking, they're playing and, and suddenly the, the performer picks up one toffee, opens it, eats it, <laughs> throws the wrapper. Okay. And the other toffees get scared. So there are this style as well. Very, very ordinary objects. And audiences are reading into it very high philosophical or socio-political or deeply personal things. Then for that moment, that object is no longer ordinary. <laughs>